Hello, I'm Milan. Milan Clover. I'm a postdoc in Oxford. Originally, I'm from Germany, but I've lived here now for many years in the UK. Yeah, I will give two presentations, and I was also invited to speak at the Union Symposia on the future of geoscientific conferences. I have to admit, I haven't checked the program in full yet. So I will definitely do that this year so that uh, I can actually show up prepared and say like, this is the session that I would like to attend. Um, but I'm already very excited for the other talks in the sessions that I'm presenting in any way. I believe as long as EGU always offers a virtual participation, um, this is the biggest thing that they have to do and they can do. Yes. Maybe not funny, but um, in 2019, I remember that there was a union symposium where at some point I asked like, why can we not have a hybrid meeting? Um, at least in the sense that people could just present their stuff um, by zooming in, um, not necessarily in terms of sharing the, the video online, because we all know that this is much more effort than um, actually just uh, presenting. And uh, that seemed to be difficult back then. And well, then a year later, COVID happened and suddenly everything had to happen virtually. So like, we know it's po we know change is possible. And uh, it's just a question of how strong the pressure is to actually, um, yeah, change the format. I believe there will always be a necessity for having a hybrid meeting, simply because for some people, it will be easy and uh, affordable to come in person. But I believe also that for many other people, there's a very, very good reason for why they don't want to or can't attend uh, in person. For example, because they don't live on in Europe um, or simply because their schedule is too full, because they have family commitments, visa restrictions, and so on and so forth. Ideally, we really would have um, kind of like a dual EGU where you feel like, oh, maybe I'm also missing out on something in the virtual space if I'm actually attending uh, attending online. So we have to make the virtual attendance as really as good as possible. And I believe it will still take many, many years for us to, to gain this experience of how to do that um, so that you really get out of a virtual conference and say like, wow, that was amazing. I do have a suggestion, which is, really just be open, talk to, to every, everyone you find interesting. Uh, every talk where you feel like, oh, this is interesting, but I have a question, really get in contact with all of these people because our community is such that you will always meet these people again. I wish everyone who attends either in person or virtually a really enjoyable EGU 2022.